In our last episode, we built this heavy modular frame factory, which meant that we could now unlock trains. So you better believe that's what we're doing today. Firstly, we're going to connect our main base to the various factories like this and the computer factory here. And from that point, we're going to connect everything up to a train station, which if you hadn't guessed already, is gonna go here. Obviously though, we can't do that train station until we get the monorail done, which is going to be the one above our central storage. In fact, we should rename this, but I have no idea what to call this. So let me know what you think we should name this station in the comments below. Given that we're creating a monorail, the first thing that we're going to need to do is to build ourselves some kind of monorail support. And I think we will do this with the these large frames and we'll also add on one well both sides some concrete from here we can also add ourselves these beams and we'll add those for there so we now have the line where the train is going to go unfortunately we can't add the rail to this blueprint because they can't connect so there's not much point from here we're going to add a line this way of barriers and also another line in this direction maybe we'll have another beam just to, to build up this border so this is going to be housing our little monitor rail which is just for us to use and then how does that look it looks all right it's a little bit simple maybe we could add something along here hmm yeah we could place that along there all the way to the end what if we colored this in a blue as well yeah i kind of like this there is one thing that i want to add and i th think we're gonna do it. I'd like to add some lighting, some signs. Hopefully with update eight, the signs will have been optimized. So this shouldn't affect us too much. We, we can live in hope, right? <laughs> so I will add some lights on the outside. And then once this is done, I'll show you what we've got. And here we are, the monorail support. I'm really happy with this. Of course, uh, this blueprint, along with every other one that we're going to do today, will be available to our patrons, but you can do this yourself as well. We're going to give this a test now. And what better place to try this out than to put it here. That is perfect. Okay, let's add a couple more. Oh yes, oh yes. This is so easy, I love this. How does this look from far away? Wow. Blueprints are awesome. I mean, they look so great, but we are going to have to do a few more for these as well. So we've got a left and a right corner. The only problem is these need to be snapped to the grid below. You can't use them as a blueprint, which is a bit of a pain. There's a ramp as well, but again, the snapping isn't great. We have to place various foundations below in order to get the right positioning. And there's also the top section without the support and vice versa, the supports without the top. These are actually going to be really useful when update eight comes because we'll be able to use the radial dial to select them. But enough of that, we need to start building. As you can see, I've already got started. We're working our way over to the heavy modular frame factory. And then after that, I'm going going to flip around and do a monorail to the computer factory. To make this as easy as possible for me for the time being, I'm going to just run this. Did that clip through? Now nah, we're good. Uh, all the way across to, oh, we're out of resources, across to the waterfall. And then from there, we're going to make a slight curve and go down this section over here. As you can see, I've been hard at work. We've used the curves from time to time, but also used elements of like free formed curves that we've done as well. In fact, I'll show you how to do one of them in a moment because I haven't shown that off, but we're now ready to move on to the next section. This train runs all the way to the computers and then over to the heavy modular frames, which we're currently going to at the moment because I'm gonna need a load of heavy modular frames to get started on a massive train train station to bring all of the items to our main factory. So that is the next job. Okay, 150 heavy modular frames should be all we need for now. As you can see, the line goes all the way around. It wraps its way around the beach and kind of follows the, the bus that we had built for the all-in-one factories all the way across to the desert where it ends up 
going and stopping by the computer factory. Speaking of which, we are going to need some more computers as well. So we'll take them and head back to the main base. The plan will be to have the train station here and that's going to bring all of the raw resources that we need to this factory, as well as any resources or items that we're producing in nearby factories as well. As you can see, we've started the build. We have two stations so far. I actually need to build another two and the idea is the, well, the little rail that you can see all the way over there, hello, is going to be the center line that leads to these and then they're going to reconnect once they get to the end. Hopefully, we shouldn't have too much of a throughput issue because there'll always be a free line in the center. But we'll see. It's, it's a new experiment. So I may have made a few changes just to kind of fit the shape in within the footprint that we have. But you can see how the line separates at the start between the three lines. We have the raw resources, which will go to the bottom two stations. And then the rest of the resources that have been produced will go to the two far stations and then they'll reconverge later on. But next, we do need to get started on the outside of this and start decorating. At this point, I'm just filling everything in. It doesn't need to be perfect. We just need to, to make sure that we've got some walls around the outside and then we'll start building the decoration here. And speaking of decoration, I'll, I'll show you what I have in mind really quickly. What we're going to do here is we're going to grab one of our barriers here. And then from here, I'm going to place this in the center and then we're gonna fill this in with the glass here. From here, we're going to add add quarter pipes like so yes I'm liking this and then on the top section we'll add this in closing it in and then we'll have something like this and we can add our half foundations to it gone in uh, I can't there we go. Speaking of decoration though, I have got started on the front section, or I guess it's the back. It's the front where the trains enter or where they leave. Hmm, that's a question for you. We've basically started to bring this up through here. So I'm going to grab some glass walls and we're going to just run this up to where this diagonal is. And then we're going to run the glass roof across there as well. We're going to do this for each of the three sections. And the reason why we are going to be using a fair bit of glass is because when update eight comes, you can see I'm really interested in update eight. Lumen is potentially going to make our factories really dark. So we're going to want to make use of plenty of uh, glass ceilings, glass walls to just get in the extra light if you do have lumen turned on. I think we're also going to add some walls covering up this outer section as well. Maybe, maybe we could even bring, I'm just playing about at the moment, but maybe have pillars going up. Hmm. Or if we have maybe a half pillar and then some kind of balcony on the front, that might look quite cool. Just a little bit of a HUD. Okay, I'm going to play around with this and probably get started on the roof as well because that's kind of boring. And once we've come up with something, I'll show you what we've got. We've now got the basics for the roof and also the outer section. As you can see, we've tried to keep with the general shape that we were producing before. And I'm adding some details to the front as well. It's definitely not there yet, but we're on the right course or the right track, I should say. I'm sorry unintended. The inside still needs a fair amount of work, but I'm going to start this off by changing the material of all of these. So I want them all to be concrete. And then once that's done, we can start playing around with maybe a little border here. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see. And here we are. We have covered it all in concrete. So it looks much better now. We're just going to add a little walkway through here, a little doorway. Um, we'll probably use um, like the sliding doors. Wait, what's that? Right. You've got to be kidding me. It's not even one or two, is it? <laughs> well, I guess I know what I'm going to be doing for the next half an hour. 
So I fixed it, thankfully. And uh, as you can see here, we've added some pillars at the top. And also here's where we were doing the walkway through. And I just did this and I thought, you know what? This looks really nice. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it as well. Um, we've done a pillar just on the side and we've rotated that one holding control. And then we've layered two of these on top of uh, one another. And then from here, we've added just a normal beam. And then this one is on top of that. And I just, I love it. And then inside we've added these automated gates. But the next thing that I want to do is something with this empty space here. It just doesn't look great. So what I was thinking was maybe playing around with creating a tunnel kind of system a bit like you would see in the the london underground between stations and so we can do that with these half uh, or quarter pipes i should say and we'll also add a little straight bit along kind of creating our own platforms actually um, but we will run these inside like so and then i want to also add a top level section as well and we'll do this on both sides like that and then have the top section and perhaps we'll even add some paneling as well. Anyway, leave that with me and I'll show you what we develop. This is better than what I had in mind, I'll be honest. I'm really liking this. We have a little walkway through. We may have to extend it and add some supports just so that it doesn't open up into this space. The next thing that we're going to be doing is the outputs of the stations. Now we're going to have sushi belts along here. So we are going to split these off into their various items and then run them under the floor and hopefully, if we can make it work, across to the storage. In an effort to keep the video as short as possible, I thought I'd show you what we've done with the train station and rather than show off every moment, just go ahead and show what we've accomplished. But you can see we've added the coated flooring to give this a really nice clinical feel to it. And I've still got the back, well, the front section here to do, but it really, is starting to fall into place. I'm really liking how this is developing, though we do need to add some lights and signs to this. As for the outside, I really don't think the color scheme works with the other build so far. So we're probably going to play around with colors at a later date. But at the moment, I'm pretty happy with this. And we've got started on building some train lines as well. Most notably, currently we have a train that goes to the oil refinery and picks up all of the plastic and rubber there and then brings it back to this factory. Something that we needed to do for a while. In itself, it's a very simple network. It's just has a single line that goes around on a single foundation. Oh, and I totally forgot to mention that I did end up building a little canal around the side. It's ever so thin, but I like it. But anyway, we're going to start building the train network now. And to do that, we're going to need to build another blueprint. Now we're going to start off this time with two lines in the middle, and then we'll also do a lower slope on the outside. I think that'll work because then the, the slope will kind of merge with the scenery, making it look quite nice. I think we're going to have to change these materials around though. I'd rather have these as asphalt on the outside and then maybe concrete in the center. Yes, we can then add the painted beam across here and then the same across here as well. Now I think we're going to grab one of these and just place it in the center and we'll also add a barrier through the middle. Bring this up all the way. Paint this like a darker gray. I want it to fit in with the build and look quite industrial as well. Add the gray to the outer section. So we'll have the trains along here and then this may need to go up slightly higher, but we'll then bring this back down and we could add some signs, maybe like green for, wait, this is left, uh, the left side. So this would be a red light 
And then on the other side, we'll do a green light. And that should be its own blueprint. And here we are. I'm actually really happy with this because we've made it so that the signals can actually fit within this. If we go over to the rocky desert, you can see I've started replacing this bus line. And as long as we make sure that the lines finish within the edge of this, we can have it so that the signals actually show just outside of the box. And on top of this blueprint, we've also added another one as well, which is without the little frame there. But we're going to build this all the way to the rocky desert for a quick train station. And then I need to do it all the way back to the heavy modular frame factory. I need to change that. Oh, speaking of which, I said I'd mention how I did the, the, the turns and I totally forgot about that. So all I've done is I've grabbed these and place them like this. We'll run these, clipping them slightly within one another and then add the beams across. Of course, this beam is on its side. But we've done this all the way around and then we've also run these along the outside section as well. And it's created quite an interesting look. Anyway, time to do the train network. I'm going to be frank and make an apology here guys i may have not saved the game and thus we did the whole network well pretty much the whole network and a, a station as well which we're about to go to this is a very basic station it's just receiving the items that were originally here which was a couple of modular frames and rotors and you can see the the train station it's just got a little bit of a frame along the outside and then a little bit of roofing. It's very simple. And then we have this return line all the way back to the, the, the main station. And now I'm working on doing the same all the way over to the heavy modular frame. So we'll just cut over to that now, uh, but I'm, I'm sorry I didn't show you all this. It would probably be quite boring anyway. Though I've still not settled on a particular color for the train station, uh, let me know what you think it should be in the comments below. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. Uh, I have continued doing the train line. Now we have one train line heading around to the, the main track, which we're, we're working on now. And you can see one returns along the route that we've just created. And it is at this point that we've got up to. My problem is that we're heading towards this massive waterfall and I'm really not sure what to do with it because I think it's going to look odd turning this around over the edge, even if we add supports. So I think what we're going to do with this is to push the train route back probably to this section here. And then we're going to veer off to the left and go down this section down to here. The next problem is that this monorail is gonna look really odd. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna have to remove it. Yep, we did it. I'm really happy with the two-way train line, but we, we have to do something with that monorail. It just cutting over it, I'm not happy. I'm not happy with that at all. I wonder if we can place the monorail on top of the train line? Is that a stupid idea? Oh, and before we try out this stupid idea with the monorail on top, I just wanted to mention I have done the train station to the heavy modular frame outpost as well. We moved it onto the side. It was out the front beforehand. But anyway, now that that's done and it's receiving the heavy modular frames, we just need to get a train on the track and sending that back to the train station now. But let's try and do the monorail. Okay, let's give this a go. So we obviously have these two that we've been using for the train line. Um, we have this. It's going to be too wide if it's this way around, but we might be able to do it this way. We also have the top section. Okay, that's not terrible. I really like that. What would happen if we did that? <gasps> that is really nice. I really like that. I mean, we, we have to get rid of this it's far too wide maybe we could try with hang on. i am really liking this let's just if we i think i need to go back to the 
blueprint designer, but I'm doing it. We're, we're going we're going to do like a slim support for this. And that's exactly what we've done here. This is going to go on top of the train line. I'm really happy with this. We're going to run it all the way across and see how it looks once it's done. But that does mean all of the hard work that went into this at the start of the video is uh, null and void. I've got to go get rid of it now. Thankfully, I can do this really easily on the satisfactory calculator. If you want to know how, do check out my video on moving factories. Instead of moving the factory, you can just delete it, which is what I'm going to do. There we go. That was simple enough. Just a couple of clicks. I've also started working on doing all of the rails along the top for the monorail section of the train. And though it's not finished, it's come a long way. We're going to just clean all of this up now and finish it. But I do need to connect these two sections here first of all. And then we're going to have to work out some way to do some supports, I think, underneath this ramp but we'll worry about that at a later date because this is a long video. As you can see with a few little tweaks, we were able to get it to work quite nicely and I'm really happy with how this has come along. But guys, we are going to have to leave it there. I hope you like the look of this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But special thanks does go to all of our amazing supporters, most notably our Solo Clips patrons, James Owen, Fireflesh, and Trebor, as well as our Lunas, the Calamity Ben, Star, Choku, the MN Wolf, and that Dude AW, as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is Scooter. Until next time, as always, ciao for now.